and I explain Photoshop tips. In today's video, I'm gonna be explaining how to take a picture from Google Maps or Google Earth and make it as a site plan on Photoshop. We will do it really quick. It won't take much time, but it will be so useful for your projects, for your clients, or even for your university work. So let's jump into screen recording and let's see how to do it. Okay guys, so first thing I wanna do is that I wanna go to Google application, to the software itself. It's better to have the application. It will give you the option to save it in high resolution while the browser won't give you this feature. Okay, so this is Google Earth. For me, I'll take Dubai. I'll find a place that has greenery and water body so we can make a proper site plan. Okay guys, so I think I'm leaning to take this island, which is the Bulgari Hotel and Resort. Let's pretend that our plot is something over here and we want to make a site plan and site analysis for it. Make sure that you press on your scroll and lift it up so you can have a 2D view. The next thing you want to do is that you want to turn off all of your layers and leave the 3D, okay? Okay, now go to save image and then go to resolution and select the maximum. You can go to save image and select the location that you want. Here you can name it. I'll name it map. And it will take some time to save because it's a very high in resolution. Okay, guys, so now I think I have it in my folder. Let's check. All right. So this is my image. It's so high in quality. But first, let's go to Photoshop and create a new sheet. First, we will create an A2 sheet. You can use whatever sheet size you like, but for me, I'd use an A2 sheet. Uh, so the A2 sheet has a dimension of 594 millimeters by 420 millimeters. Let's keep it landscape and use the resolution 150 and hit the create. So I'm going to go to my folder, go to my map, open with Photoshop and then drag it to my new A2 sheet. Okay, as you see, it's a big image. I don't wanna bother myself editing and coloring this area here. So I'll just keep the island, I'll adjust my image. Okay, so now we've imported our image. So first thing I wanna do is that I wanna zoom in and check the streets okay so if you have the streets you can import them and use them if you don't have the streets you can easily draw them but first thing you need to do is that you need to lock your background layer and then you need to create a new layer above it let's call it streets and then i'm gonna go use my brush tool okay there's one trick that i need you to know it will make your life easier if you are using the brush tool and then you hold your alt and then you use your right click and drag it to the right, it will increase the size. If you drag it to the left, it will decrease the size. If you drag it up, it will make the brush softer. If you drag it down, it will make it more defined. Okay, so for me, now I will use a smaller size for the brush and I want it to be very defined and sharp. I'll use a white color and I will start drawing my streets really quick. Okay, make the flow 100%. Okay, one thing I need you to know that you can hold your shift and press one point and keep holding and then click on another point so you can 
create straight lines that will make your life easier. Now let me do this real quick. Okay, now you can duplicate your base layer. Let's name it base layer and then duplicate it and call this one back cup. Okay, for now we're gonna create or separate the greenery from the site plan. For that, we're gonna go to our base layer, select it, and use the selection tool, right click color range. Use the dropper with the plus sign at sample and zoom in and select the green of your site plan. So I selected three types of green. Now, I think 30 is enough. And then, and then I'll use my magic tool and my alt to deselect the water body. I'll just click one click on the water body. So now it deselected our water body. I'll go real quick around the edges of the water body and deselect them. All we gotta do now is to create a new mask for this layer. Let's rename it to greenery. And duplicate our backup to use as a base again. We can then create a hue saturation layer above our base layer to reduce the saturation of our site plan. For that, I'm going to right-click here, Hue Saturation, above my base layer, and reduce the colors of my site plan. Now that we have the greenery separated, we can easily play with the shade of the green by creating a Hue Saturation layer above the greenery. And after creating the hue saturation layer, don't forget to clip it to your greenery layer. Create clipping mask. Okay. And then change the hue color. Now let's color the water body. For that, we can go to our magic tool and our base layer. Select the water body. It won't be selected perfectly but we will fix it later. Create a hue saturation layer under our rods. Check the colorization box and choose your preferred color. As I said, because we've used the magic tool, so the selection is not perfect. So for that, I'll go to my mask layer and use my brush on a very hard selection with, with the size that I want to go over the selection and select my water body perfectly. Once you're done, go to your adjustment layer and right-click blending options. Then we can add some like inner shadow or something to pop up the water body in our sheet. I'll go to inner shadow. Okay. I'll change the black 
I'll try to use something lighter, but still dark enough to create the illusion of the shadow. I'll go back to my mask and check if I have any small dots. Like here we had a pot, so it gave me uh, something not really nice. So I'll select again in my mask. Okay, so after that, you can just highlight your plot. Let's do this. I'll create a new layer above and call it my plot. Let's pretend that this is our plot. I use the brush tool. Very small brush. And I'll keep it red, okay? I'll use the <laughs> shift technique. I'll hold my shift and use the points to define my plot. Now I'll go to the blending mode. I'll select the stroke outside. I'll use the black. I'll use one, not one, two. Okay, so this is our plot and this is our site plan. You can always change the color of the plot. If you don't like it red, you can change the color. Okay, now I think I'll make it pop by using a paper texture over my site plan. So for that, I have this paper texture that I have here that I can use this image multiple times because the scale of the image is a little bit big so i'll duplicate it ctrl j and try to repeat it as it is seamless after duplicating the layers i'll just select all the repeated layers and ctrl e okay you'll see that it came back to its normal so i'll use the blending mode which is the divide I'll use a mask and my brush. I'll use a large brush. I don't want it to be very hard. The opacity will be 50. And I'll go over the island itself because I don't want the paper effect covering the beauty of my island. Don't forget to use the black so you can remove the effect of the layer. Okay, so now after placing the mask of the paper texture only on the river, I want to enhance the river because I think it's too empty by using pots and place them randomly all over my water body. Now I'll try to give the sighted plan a little bit of uh, a light from the sun or something. So I'll use this yellow, a very big and uh, very soft brush. I'll try to hit a few clicks on the corner and I'll use a very low opacity to give me a feeling that the sun is hitting the sea. So this is basically our sighted plan. Let me check and show you how was it before when we first extracted it from Google Maps and now. As you can see, this is what we've extracted from Google Maps. And this is the final product that we've done on Photoshop. It's very easy. It took like 15 minutes. Very easy. Everyone can do it. And I want you to try it. You can also add your site analysis all over your plot. You can add the sun circulation and the wind circulation. You can show the north and really enhance it. You can add some text. You can put it in your poster. It's really amazing. It's really handy. Everyone can get access to Google Maps or Google 
earth because it's free it's for everyone you can just do it and believe me they will like it okay guys see you on the next one bye hey guys if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like subscribe and the notifications bell on so you can get everything i upload weekly see you on the next one bye